All right, you guys, so check out how to create this really cool audio visualizer text or logo here in After Effects. You guys been asking how to create music visualizers, so here is one. All right, so first let's create a new composition. Rename this as music. And I'm gonna go with 1080p and 10 second duration, click OK. Now let's go to the layers, right click, go to new, and I'm gonna select the solid. This is gonna be the background and recolor it as black. Click OK and click OK. And I can drag and drop the logo in AI format. And this is an Adobe Illustrator format. I'm going to drag and drop it here. Click OK. And I'm going to go here and open up the folder. And here we got the vector logo. I'm going to drag and drop it above the background. And right click on the layer with the logo. Let's go to create. And I'm going to select the create shape from vector layer. Now let's go ahead and delete the original file. And here I'm going to remain with the shape layer logo. I'm also going to rename this as a logo. And I'm also going to go to the effects app presets and search for Gaussian blur. I drag and drop the Gaussian blur on the logo layer. And I'm also going to recolor the fill of the logo to white. So let's click on the fill here and I'm going to select the white. Click OK. And now let's go to the Gaussian blur and increase it. And I'm going to go with 75. Also make sure to uncheck repeat edge pixels. All right, so from here I can go ahead and drag and drop the music, the track right here at the layers. So drag and drop it here, arrange it however you like. And I'm also gonna right click on the MP3 layer and let's go to keyframe assist. And I'm gonna go and select the convert audio to keyframes. So now it's gonna convert it into this audio amplitude. Let's open it up and open up the effects. And as you can see here, we got the keyframes of the left, right, and both channels. You also can see them up here. So basically the left and the right are good for monos and the both channels is for the stereo. So in our situation, we're gonna need like the both channels. So let's go to the right and the left and I'm gonna press delete. And let's go and open up the both channels. And here you can see the slider with all the keyframes. All right, so from here, we're gonna create that effect. So let's go and right click here, go to new and select the adjustment layer. I right click and rename, this is gonna be the effect. Well, let's go to effects and presets, search for CC ball action. I drag and drop the CC ball action on the effects layer. And here I'm gonna to go to the grid spacing, I'm gonna decrease it to two. And for the ball size, I'm gonna go with like 55. And here we're gonna to need to animate the displacement. So for example, if I increase it, you can see it is going to create this really cool spectrum effect and we're gonna make this bounce on the rhythm. So what I'm gonna need to do is press and hold Alt. Let's go to the display stopwatch and click on the stopwatch. And down here is gonna open up the expressions. And you can see at the displacement, we got this pick whip and I'm gonna drag this pick whip at the slider at the audio amplitude. So this way it's gonna bring in this expression here. So for example, if I bring this down, hit play. <laughs> It is going to start hitting the rhythm, but as you can see, it is going to start from zero, not from uh, this specific value that I created before. So we're gonna need to add a different expression. I'm gonna go with semicolon enter, make sure it's gonna start the second expression from here. Now let's go to the expression language menu. And here we're gonna go here to the interpolation and let's go and select the second linear, this one. Click on it. So here we're gonna change up the minimum, maximum and value one and two, but first we're gonna work with this T where we're gonna need to add audio amp. And then here at the value one and two, we're gonna control the height of the displace effect. So in my situation, I'm gonna start this from 40, not from zero, how it was before. And here I can go all the way up at whatever value you want. For example, I'm gonna go with 110. So this is gonna be like the height of this effect. And up at least here at the min max, I didn't quite understood this, but here I'm gonna drop a lower value. Minimum is gonna be like one, maximum 30. And also make sure that you have this semicolon here and then click somewhere here to deselect. So as you can see here, we got a problem with expression. Audio amp is not defined. So I'm gonna go back and how I saw, you need to add another expression here, audio amp space equals space, this comp layer, audio amplitude. Yeah, this should be good. Click somewhere here. Let's go back, hit space, and there you go. And this is how I make this music visualizer here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.